Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steps Basic, and welcome back to my community show. Hello. So, I had an idea for a topic that I had today, specifically regarding uh, franchises. Now, of course, when I say that, I'm not talking about like McDonald's or Burger King or Walmart or stuff like that. I'm talking about, obviously... <laughs> show movie video game franchises now obviously we we know of the big ones like the mcu uh star wars etc but there are like ones within uh gaming that i particularly like namely final fantasy and oh excuse me resident evil excuse me and very rarely will these two like mediums cross each other now i talked b before about uh about adaptations video game adaptations and how often they flop <laughs> specifically like mario was a, uh, a a big example of that where people were not really happy with how mario turned out now admittedly i'm one that liked the movie but now we're coming to what actually inspired the idea for this video specifically it's a good movie but they tied it into the franchise where it's a good show but they tied it into a franchise, and it killed it for me. Now, I was watching the Resident Evil show that recently came out on Netflix, and there's a lot to not like about that show. <laughs> a lot to not like about that show. But the fact that they tied it to, to, to Resident Evil, when very little of it was actually Resident Evil, made it even worse. Now, I didn't hate the show. I enjoyed myself watching it. There was, like I said, a lot of things to not like about it, but and I, I enjoyed it. But like I said, I also enjoyed Mario Brothers, so take that with a grain of salt. But the thing kept nagging at the back of my head was like, this is not Resident Evil. They just took the name Resident Evil and attached it to this project in the hopes of drawing more viewers. And of course, that's Basically what it is with a lot of these cash grab type shows and movies and stuff is they'll attach themselves to a franchise just to, you know, draw more of a crowd. I don't remember which movie it was, but it might have actually been the first one, but Star Trek did the same thing. Like the original Star Trek movie, I think, don't quote me on that, was supposed to be a completely different movie in its own right, but then they tied it to Star Trek in order to, well, get more viewers, get more people on board to watch it. The funny part is, though, that didn't actually detract from the movie. Like, I was watching it, and I'm like, yeah, this, this feels like Star Wars, or this feels like Star Trek, and I like it. Which brings up the issue that I have with these types of franchises. Like, they can be done well. Um, the latest Resident Evil movie I actually very much enjoyed because it was very much more like the the video games it really felt like i was watching the video games as the form of a movie granted they did leon dirty in that movie <laughs> i felt so bad for how they treated leon in that because leon not an incapable character he's actually incredibly capable and does a lot of great stuff but for some reason in that movie they're like yeah leon's a leon's a dope dope we don't like him he, he's he's dumb and uh of course they crossed him with a uh, um Oh, what was the guy's name from 3? Carlos? Yeah, Carlos. I think that's what his name was. Ah, brain fart. Anyway. But, of course, they crossed him with that character. So, you know, it's like you know, a little bit of wackiness and a little weirdness. But, like, I think that one was a good tie-in. A good, a, a good video game franchise movie. And I think that one worked. The movie itself wasn't particularly, like, good. As far as, like, groundbreaking cinema is concerned. But it did exactly what it was supposed to do. And that's one thing I like about movies. But then the Resident Evil show, they had an idea for a zombie show. And they're like, well, it's got labs, it's got zombies, so Resident Evil, right? And well, this will get more viewers. And then everyone who likes Resident Evil watched it, and they're like, ugh. By the way, Bert, best character. Best character of the whole show. You need to watch it for Bert and Bert alone. <laughs> But what they did to Albert Wesker was was horrible. <laughs> now, I, I say that, but I actually did think that was an interesting concept. But as far as it being Albert Wesker was the problem, because that was not Albert Wesker. 
Um, it was funny because I was like, I don't like what they've done to him. They, they, they made him a nice guy. And then my brother was like, oh, just wait till you see the end. And, and I'm like, okay. And then, spoiler alert, uh, Albert Wesker created a bunch of clones of himself to do work. And one of those was Bert, obviously. And one of them was the Albert that we know. And then a third one who was dead. And then Albert disappeared. <laughs> I like the actor. I love the actor they got to play him. Forgive me, because mem memory today is not letting me remember names. So I'm just going to look it up so I don't get it wrong. But I love the actor. I always see him play serious roles. Um, I have seen him play less than serious roles. Um, and Fringe was, I'd say, probably one of my favorite portrayals that he's done. Lance Reddick, yes. Lance Reddick. <laughs> and... and it was just amazing to see how much range he had in this show because he played all of the clones, obviously. And Albert was very straight-laced, and then Bert was goofy and wacky and, and a little off. And then Albert Wesker was obviously not Albert Wesker. He was evil. <laughs> and I have to agree with uh, the, the mainstream accepted joke about it is they made him look like Blade. And yeah, that, that was a little weird. <laughs> I feel like this show could have worked so much better without being tied to Resident Evil. Because the entire show, I kept thinking, this is not Resident Evil. This is not Resident Evil. That's not Resident Evil. That's not Resident Evil. Now, of course, they included nods to the game and whatnot, like Albert Wesker, for one. Um, Umbrella, Raccoon City, uh, the first Raccoon City event and whatnot. But overall, it just did not feel at all like Resident Evil. And... This honestly makes me feel nervous when a big franchise announces that, that, that they're coming up with a TV show or they're coming up with a movie. Like The Last of Us, I think, uh, Bioshock I heard about. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But like those two, those two in particular, like from what I understand, The Last of Us is supposed to be the story in the show. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm kind of like, eh. I don't, have, I don't have HBO, so I'm probably not going to watch it. <laughs> I'd want to, but... You know, um, but like c according to that, that's supposed to be the show. And now that I finished Bioshock Infinite, and and I'm thinking about again, don't quote me, but I thought I think I heard about a Bioshock show. Um, but uh, um, has me wondering like, what are they gonna do? Now, that being said, all that flaffling and waffling about. I do have to say that the idea of a show or a movie that takes place within the universe of a certain franchise is not a bad thing. Like, I would love to see an alternate story in the Last of Us universe with different characters, people I don't know, just surviving and living and whatnot. And I think that would be an interesting little idea. That could be fun. Um, apart from that, uh, this is everyone, um... Because, like, we know Ellie, Joel, we know Abby, we know all their stories now that we've played the games. And they're coming out with a remaster of it, which I guess I'm going to have to get because it looks very pretty. Um, but, uh, of the first one. Um, but, uh, but it would be interesting to see how other people are surviving. Like, maybe a, a contingent of Firefly soldiers in, in the middle of, like, a city and see what happens there. I do love stories like that because they're, they're more character drama, more more uh, more story within the story, as it were. And, and, of course, you know, obviously lore building. And I love me some lore. I mean, friggin' my, the story I'm writing... Um, has I, I've literally built the world from the ground up. New characters, new everything, um, events in history and whatnot, playing into the story and whatnot, and just tying the whole web together is, is exciting, and I love that sort of idea. And I like to see authors and writers' takes on that sort of thing. Like, how, how did you build the world that you have now? How cool is that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Close enough. All right, but yeah. So, like, the idea of, of a show within a franchise is not bad. But a show based on the franchise kind of makes me nervous. Like, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to go with it? Where are you going to take this? That's the sort of thing that I feel, you know. And, and I found myself more often than not saying things like, I wish this wasn't a Resident Evil show. Or I wish this wasn't a... What was the more recent one? Um... 
I don't remember. But I, I've said that a few times with more recent projects and stuff that have come out. Um, not counting the Sandman, dude, it's perfect. Go watch it. Go watch the Sandman. It's so good. Oh my god. Now, of course, obviously it's not perfect. It's an adaptation from a comic book, but. It it, it, it it had the feel of it, which was the most important thing. And then it had a lot of the plot story points. Uh, there were a couple of instances where it's like, yeah, it deviated, but not in a bad way. Not the overall impactful way. So it, it was a, an enjoyable thing. But yeah, go watch The Sandman. It's awesome. Um, I might do a whole video about The Sandman because I have lots of stories about that. Uncharted, that's what it was. If this wasn't an Uncharted movie... It would have been so much better. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't hate Uncharted, but I don't know. Having it tied together to a, a video game kind of, I don't know, in a little way diminished it. Like, if that had been just, like, an adventure story, I might have enjoyed it a little bit more. Of course, I know nothing about Uncharted, so I do want to play the Uncharted series, though. You know, I've been kind of wanting to play that for a bit. Um, but, yeah, anyway. Uh, announcements, um, blah, 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 blah. I've kind of, I've kind of accepted the fact that I'm not going to be, uh, having two videos up every day, and honestly, I've been wanting to get back into my writing a lot, so this is kind of helping a little bit, and helping me keep, you know, time and stuff to, to get my writing in and whatnot, um, so that's kind of helping there, uh, I keep going back and forth about the Spooktober idea, like, I don't know if I want to do it, I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it, because I definitely want to get some stuff done, but with high school and everything, it's making a lot, a lot more difficult to, to have time to do things. Um, and, you know, my health issues and whatnot. Although, I've been losing weight. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for announcements. That's it for the uh, thing. Oh, no, it's not, I'm not done with announcements yet. I finished Bioshock Infinite. The last episode goes up to Monday. And uh, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be, going to be, uh, what am I going to be? I'm going to be doing the DLC parts to it. I know it had, uh, Below the Depths or whatever it was called. I don't know if any of that's actual story-based, but I want to give it a shot and test it out on, on a video and see how that works. And if it's not, then one video, if it is, then we'll finish all the DLC stuff. But yeah, that's it for announcements. We are done now. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of The Community Show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, please poke that like button more. Really thank you more. If you'd like to see more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Oh, when I can, if I can. Know all that jazz. And tune in next time for another topic another time. And until then, good night.